And with your Storm Team 2 weather update on this Tuesday night, I'm meteorologist Elise Smith. So I'm not purposely talking about all the negative impacts of this beautiful stretch of weather we have. I know yesterday we mentioned that pollen count, specifically tree pollen, is going to be very high this week. But with how beautifully sunny but dry, the lack of rain, a bit of a breeze, that could all culminate in the potential for an elevated fire risk. Keep in mind that there is an outdoor burn ban across New York State until May 14th. This is one of the reasons why this time of year when it is this dry with a lack of rain, this beautiful with the sunshine and the mild temperatures, there is the potential again for some outdoor fires. Elevated fire risk for tonight and tomorrow because of the extremely low humidity, the gusty breeze. We're going to keep the dry soil since it really hasn't. We haven't gotten a good downpour soaking rain in a minute, so we could potentially see some red flag warnings issued. We do still have a little bit of damp soil right now from some of the rain we've picked up since the beginning of April, so I'm not too concerned about it. But again, if there is an outdoor fire that begins with these conditions in place, there is the potential for them to grow pretty quickly and cause a concern or cause problems. Farther downstate tonight, we do have red flag warnings that have been issued for Albany, close to New York City as well. Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts are all covered in them because of the threat for some wildfires. This is specifically for tonight and into tomorrow. Then you see pretty much all of Pennsylvania is covered in a fire weather watch where they could see red flag warnings issued for tomorrow. That's including McKean and Potter counties in northern Pennsylvania. Nothing for western New York. I don't think we're going to get one this week. Doesn't mean that we couldn't potentially see a fire grow out of hand tomorrow. Meanwhile, yes, this beautiful stretch of weather is going to continue. We'll see even more sunshine by tomorrow afternoon. Some high clouds rolled in today and covered up the sun, but for tomorrow, more sunshine. High temperatures will be in the mid 60s. Then looking ahead to Thursday, it's the morning lows Thursday, only starting near 50 degrees. Why we're forecasting that 70 degree mark for Thursday. We'll be in the lower 70s by Thursday afternoon. Lots of sunshine. Copy paste forecast for Friday as well. But tonight it's about 630 on Tuesday evening when we're recording this. If you're headed out, you'll probably notice the breeze. Wind gusts tonight could still reach up to 35 miles per hour at times. But as for the satellite and radar loop, any of the rain you see again, I'm not buying it. I have seen no reports of rain tonight because of how dry it is. So even if we are seeing raindrops develop within clouds tonight, all of that rain is going to fizzle out and evaporate before it reaches the ground. But after being up on rooftop weather this evening, these are mainly thin high level clouds out there. I haven't even seen any of these rain reports across Burlington and Vermont, upstate New York manifest. So just keep that in mind. Cloudy, yes, but dry. Now, future look has the cloudy but dry weather for tonight with some clouds rolling in here and there. Tomorrow, I think it could be a bit of a partly cloudy start to the day, but then as the next weather system moves in and everything evolves, we will see more sunshine into tomorrow afternoon. Here are your seven day zone forecast Niagara and Orleans counties in Buffalo. Picture perfect weather all the way through Friday. Then for Saturday, beautiful start to the weekend, 70s again. Next weather system moves in on Sunday that will bring in some rain to end the weekend and then open the door for some cooler weather next week. Of course, the beautiful stretch. It can't last forever. Now, South towns and Southern Tier, very similar seven days for you too. Southern Tier, you could be in the 70s by tomorrow, potentially near 80 degrees on Friday for the Southern Tier. Then looking ahead to next week. Yep, we do have that rain Sunday into Monday. And that's your Storm Team 2 weather update on this Tuesday night. Have a great night.